Hey, first of all, a big shout out and a big thank you. Our YouTube family just crossed 2,000 subscribers. Welcome to Apple EDC. I got a comment from a viewer that prompted me to take my original chat note shortcut and to see if I could add support for multiple languages to it. So I duplicated the original chat note and I renamed it chat note English to selected language. And hopefully this is an example on how maybe you can modify this shortcut to do whatever you want to do in terms of language translation. And I'll put a link to this shortcut in the description below so you don't have to type it all out. Let's open it up and I'll show you what I did. After the dictated text action, I added this translate action and I'm using the dictated text as the input to that action. And then for the output, I use the ask each time variable like so. Let's go ahead and clear that out. It defaults to English, but I'll just tap on that. I'll come up to variables and say ask each time. And then I'm taking the output of this and feeding it into the use model action. I'm using the chat GPT model. And for its input, I've selected this translated text. Then when I get the output from the use model action, I use the detected language action to detect what language ChatGPT is responding in. And of course, it should match the language that I chose above here when I said, you know, what language I want to translate to. Then in my text container here, I added this detect language variable after the answer in text. So it will say answer in Spanish, answer in whatever, whatever I selected there, just as sort of a double check to make sure it translated correctly. Since I don't speak any language but English, I'm kind of relying on faith that this is actually working. Then the rest of the uh, shortcut is the same. So let's go ahead and run it and let's see if it works. I'd like the ingredients to make a Mexican cheese enchilada. And then of course for the language, let's go ahead and select Spanish. Okay, and here's what we get. The question of course in English, I'd like the ingredients to make a Mexican cheese enchilada. Then in Spanish, and then the answer in Spanish. So it did select the correct language. And there's the answer. I have no idea if that answer is correct, but it certainly looks like it could be. And it's actually making me hungry. The link for this shortcut's in the description below. Okay, I hope this one helps. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you think this was working uh, as it should work, especially if you're multilingual and can understand Spanish or some other language you'd like to try. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.